Hello, hello, how's everybody doing? What's up? I'm too old for this, Dima, Ash, Grid, Red Set. That's pretty coming in nice and early, thank you for the luck. Uh, <laughs> maybe one day we'll pay, play as uh, Grand Pooh Bear, maybe one day. Today's not that day, though. Today we're too busy getting a world record. Thank you, Laura, for the good luck. Crack open the cold one. To christen these good runs that we're about to have. And, uh, let's see, am I missing anything? Put that up. Let's actually not forget to put on the PB playback. Okay, so that's good to go. Anything else? I don't think so. I think we're, I think we're ready. No warm up today. We're kinda out. We went in cold. Oh, that's, I have to, what was, okay, hold on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What level is that? That is... Lock in this Waluigi PB. He was doing some things yesterday. What's up, Stakes? And Cancer with Growth. Lurk mode sounds good, man. Thank you guys for the look. There's a little sloppy movement there. Tried out the the Papa John's um, Cuppy Roni New York pizza. I'm, I'm sure you're fully aware of it. It was pretty good. I liked the Ronies. The, the crust was, uh, I enjoyed, kind of like a nice crisp uh, crust stable. Um, the sauce, they, they classified it as a uh, creamy tomato. And what I read was that it's like a regu the regular pizza sauce, but like mixed with al some Alfredo in it. I think if I was to do it again, I would just get regular pizza sauce. It was fine. The their their creamy sauce was fine, but it wasn't. Uh, I don't think it was better than their traditional sauce. But I thought that really good. We also got their uh, their Papa bites with uh, their chicken parm Papa bites. And I was I was impressed. I thought those were pretty damn good. Would recommend. You know how it goes, though. You see, uh, 
you see it on Report of the Week, you gotta give it a shot, right? That's when it's looking good. <laughs> What's up, Felix? I'm gonna say a 55 tonight. It's in the range, I think. It's in the range. And that was even more. Ah, I'm just gonna reset. That was. <clears throat> we could have kept going, but that was 22 seconds or something. And all we, all we really, I mean, we did level one and three key jumps, like, not worth. Not worth 20 seconds of time lost for that. The, the sunken cost fallacy, right? Oh, yeah. Over that in there. What's up, y'all? Thank you for the good luck and uh, happy Saturday. See, we can't give you a good run right here. For yell right here. Hello, everyone. This is Running on Empty Food Review. <laughs> I'm your host of the. Uh, what is it? I'm your host of. No, no. And I'm your host report. Is it? Is he, I'm the host. Your report of the week. Is that how he? Is that what the next line is? Got a blanket on it now. So embarrassing that I don't have the. Uh, the opening line memorized. I tried for you, Ash, though. I tried. <laughs> I'm not dead, not dead. Okay. And it did not, did that not spawn? That, maybe I didn't push the screen far enough? That's fucked. good and true we, we can't all be goaded like uh, the report of the week my friend <sighs> have you used his reviews before I definitely I like watching um, his videos uh, Especially if it's for an item that, like, looks interesting or good. Here is take on it. Possibly get me excited to go try it for myself. Yo, what's up, buddy? We're back. Waluigi did not have enough fun last night. He's, he's come back for some more action. I just cannot. How? Where? <laughs> where was the jump? What's up, Nikki? Getting a few false starts here to lead off the stream, but we all know w World One's the hardest world. This, if you can get out of World One, the, the game is free after that.
Thank you, CBH, by the way, for the good luck. God. Okay. I'm gonna take the death. I'm, anno I'm annoyed. Let's just... If that's the only death, we'll just absorb it. So that's like one of the more annoying deaths in level one. Like, you just did the whole 20 second dumbass intro. <laughs> and on what is it, like the second or third jump you die? Is this is what we got to get rid of uh, titles. The not the touchscreen, sorry. The um, the intro message box. Can you stop? That is not a good ratio so far. I think that's like so. That's two, right? That's two bad ones, if not. It's probably two. It's probably two times so far that that's happened. But we've only had like three shots at that today. That's a terrible ratio. Oh, this is a scuff. A scuff start, but let's see what happens in Dreadnought. What about the cape level? Actually, I'm feeling. I mean. There are... Probably, like, two scary parts now in Cape. Like, a number of things can still get me, but our consistency is, is so much better these days with the, the tweaks that we've made. So I, I actually feel pretty good about the Cape. What's the cooldown? 90 minutes. game time. I'm surprised it wasn't more. Didn't get my key jump not once, but twice? Then had to just bail for the strat overall and just use the dolphin. Get early P speed, okay. Okay, given the circumstances, we only lost one in-game timer compared to optimal. And I but that's and that's with me missing the uh, block grab at the very start. So I I feel like that was actually quite a good salvage. And that was without I didn't really have a game plan there. Like I like I 
should say, it was not a fully structured, choreographed dance there. It was... A decent percentage of kind of winging it. And like, melding a few different experiences together to craft that backup. As I went forward, I actually thought I was too far to the right on mount. Okay, I almost got wrecked there. Like, I wasn't anticipating a bonk. Like, I very easily could have been denied getting onto the platform as a result of that, but somehow no punish. Did you see that guy that cheese trials of death? No, I'm not, I don't think I know what you're talking about. What is trials of death? Covered. Had a little bit of a sloppy start to the hallway there, but we were still able to get the, the good cycle, the, the one cycle. I almost forgot the visual cue for moving to the right. Oh, that's what it's called? Why did I thought it? I thought the, the level that I had in my mind was, uh, wasn't there something like called trimmed bushes or something like that? I thought that was the last remaining level. Because there, there was like a level that someone got credit for beating, but it's it was actually done by a task or something. I don't know, like, the full story. I haven't really been keeping... Trim oh, trimming the, her the herbs. Herbs is the uh, the final... The, the task one. Okay, okay. So, it, it's it's not that it was beaten with a task. It was that the level check was beaten with the task. So, it counts... A, it, so, is that why it's... Um, cause, okay. I, I am a... I'm not a Mario Maker Pro here, right? So I think the way it works is that to upload the level, you have to have a level clear check, right? So is it the fact that trimming the herbs was or herbs was uh, level checked with a task? It wasn't that someone claimed they beat it post upload. Okay, that okay. So that was that. What's up, Snake? Oh, is Trials of Death, is that the one with Chain Chomp, uh, Brayden? Is that his name? Because there is there is a lot, I don't, yeah, okay, it's that one, okay, I've, I've seen, uh, him, like, play, practice slash play his level to try to, to beat it. Which, I think, didn't he end up beating it? I could be wrong there, I feel like I, he... Did, but maybe that was a fever dream I was in. He did, okay. Oh, I forgot we're gonna go for the. Someone got a copy and also beat it, but they cheesed it? That's pretty insane considering how heck 
hectic that level is. Snuck in a Yoshi. How, what, like, what percentage was he able to cheese? Are we talking like a 100% cheese, a 50% cheese, a 10% cheese? Why would he uh, remake it? He can't even upload it in the first place, right? What's the what's the point? Oh, okay. <laughs> a good level has some percentage of do I'm literally trying to switch my fucking grip and I failed to switch my grip to I will I failed to switch it the first time like so that was like an accident and then I thought I was dead so I gave up and then I actually wasn't dead and I could have fixed it Two extra cycles, because that, okay. No. No, that was, that was absolute dog shit by me. No, I'm not taking that, no. Yeah, a level having some amount of freedom, at least as a speedrunner, <laughs> makes for a, a fun, interesting level. I like when there are options. When there are options and uh, you can kind of denote like optimal strat, Secondary strat, you know, maybe even a third strat, a tertiary strat, depending on how much risk you want to put in, right? Depending on what your current pace is, if you want to take it safer, go ham. And then do, doing creative things.
<laughs> so you can find the hardest way to do it exactly. Hey, sometimes, sometimes the fast strat is actually not that bad. Believe it or not. There are there are plenty of spots where I actually feel more comfortable doing the uh, the hard strat than I would <laughs> trying to finagle like the intended solution. Thank you for the good luck. Nothing nothing brewing just yet. The night is plenty early, right? Far, far as we've been so far tonight was um, Porpoise Please, the fortress in the cave. Steal my shell this time, let's go. It probably doesn't look like much, but like the navigation through that uh, stacked Koopa was like the 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 left right was very tight, and I mean that in, in a good way. Like no wasted motion outwards. That was uh, four tenths slow. I gotta stop holding down. There's no reason. Just let myself naturally fall and then grab the key. I don't need to be holding down to make that happen. Me in a riskier position.
So it might not, we might be in the green. But even if we're not, I'm so surprised because like, I feel like this should be my best ever pace. The way, the way these rooms have been played has been top tier. Of course. mess that up but I'm curious how much uh, two no, no no that's a little over one one and three quarter yeah just under two okay yeah bad it, it started with the ball and chain I mess I messed up the ball and chain mushroom part, which messed up the spin block bridge. So then I had to just kind of do it casually. Okay, let's get another crack at uh, Cave.
going for the one cycle. Didn't get it. I know yesterday we weren't going for it at all. I think today I'm going to put it back in. And we're going to see. I'll still take it safe in the second half. So no, no corner clip. Oh my god, what is going on? That was... That was all sorts of fucky, um, but no major punish. Again, one of those situations where I misjudge where I'm coming out of the pipe. Like, I come out of the pipe thinking I'm going to hit the inner wall, and then I don't. So I'm just, like, holding left and going well beyond where I need to. Grab and I stop getting block crabs, dude. Fuck off. How is that too slow? Okay. Let's let's see what happens in the rest of cave. like this start but if the rest if there's no major deaths in cave the rest of the way we can try to make it good in snow Thank you. 
buttery smooth start. It's been strong on the... A little slow getting the pipe. Just made. I wanted to make sure. Took the time. Slowed down the um, <clears throat> the left hand. Wanted to make sure I didn't have a bad up input or an accidental up input during the final three block tosses while chasing down the dolphin. Because <laughs> I've been kind of making that blunder lately. So just played it a bit patient. Made sure to lock it in. We did the objective. Clean uh, rest of cave. Given ourselves a chance going into snow. Oh my... Terrible by me. To be fair, I should have died on the disco part, like the bounces. So I do an extra wiggle. Just not great. Try to hold strong. So those, yeah, exactly. It's the Waluigi legs. Can't trust them. 
And I assumed that if I hit this wall and fell down and just neutral the D-pad, that this would nudge to the right. That's a bummer. Well, we learned. So you have to crash in, fall straight down, but still hold run, neutral the D-pad, and then as soon as you pick it up, then you can release run. That's annoying. fight back from a, a, it was it was only it's only two levels that were bad but they were expensively bad Oh! Let's not let myself get distracted. That was silly. Oh my gosh. Too busy thinking about what almost happened instead of focusing on the obstacle at hand. I mean, that's it's that's the, what I died to is such an easy obstacle too. That's no. Yeah, it goes to show you, I guess. Does not take much loss of focus in Kaizo speedrunning to uh to die. I went for the double gamble in Slipknot, man. I skipped the halfway and I tried doing something different than normal. <laughs> Probably not the wisest choice. it a lot. <laughs> so that that jump in the like one of the very first jumps of this level.
zombie. to ensue. Okay, I, got, I got a little too hyped up there. <laughs> I jumped the gun a little early. At least I didn't, like, tiptoe onto the uh, muncher, right? I would have looked really dumb that way. How was my day? It was chill. I didn't do anything. Nothing special over here.
Were you up to anything uh, anything fun today, zombie? Spring cleaning, nice. I did some of that yesterday. That's close. Where did the down go on my D-pad? Frustrating. Okay. Right at the end of World One, too. That's so stupid. Somehow, somehow, pressure just got released on that down. Oh, you're p picking up uh, litter? Very admirable. I know uh, Paco did something like that uh, as a tribute for Earth Day. I don't remember which year that was. It was probably like maybe two years ago when she did that. Very, very respectable. Sucks that it's a thing that has to be done in the first place, though. Let's see, in an ideal world, there wouldn't be any trash just, like, laying around the side of the road and shit like that. Throw it in the garbage can. Um, yeah, what's up, killer? Thank you for the good luck. I can't remember. Some, I feel like someone. It might have been Paco who said this. Maybe it was someone else. But they said that sometimes that trash isn't. Uh, oh my God. I uh, sometimes the trash is not just the most, you know, bad faith. Um, Thing you can think of. It's not necessarily someone just being a lazy bum and throwing it out um, on the ground. But like sometimes it's garbage trucks hauling trash and it flies away. Again, I don't know if that's true or not. I could see that being plausible though. Like while they're trying to transport the garbage away, it, some of it might fly. Hearing the jump and then not. That was clean. 
clean as fuck key, though. Really kept nice speed going. My never, never really slowed down. It's quick on the subsequent key jumps. Second try there was quite good. Oh, on the beach. Yeah, that one's probably more people being bad. I'd, I'd, I'd believe that. Uh, Progress, thank you for the tier one for 19 months. Today is the day 2 a.m. in Greece, but I finally have a weekend off hostel, so let's see this. Hell yeah, dude. How how late you staying up? 2 a.m. is pretty uh pretty late as it is. But hopefully we can get something cooking for you right here. And what's up, Casito? And Benny. Ron not looking so spicy. I think you came in when I was dying in dreadnought. Not the run, but this is gonna be the run right here. No sleep till world record. Okay, fair. Last night's bow there was there were three Bowsers last night. One of which was on great pace to gold. Crazy enough. One of them had a dick bomb, and the other two played out the exact same way. Where I got, uh, I got cornered, which I said during the stream that you could, you could put the blame on me for that, because I didn't uh, position myself in it, you know, favorably, right? Like, I, I created the possibility that if thing A and B occur, then I'm screwed. Sucks it happened twice. But...
surprised I got credit for that. How do you say littering is where I'm at? I don't pay enough attention. Like, I don't go out enough slash pay attention enough to, to give you a good answer there. I'm, like, I'm at home, drive to work. Work all day, come home. And then relax on the couch or stream, right? schedule. Get a good blaze. Let's go. Get me out of here. Okay, that was bad. Lost at least one cycle. I don't know if it was... I don't know the extent of the damage, but it was at least a little bit. <laughs> it was at least something. It was non-zero. second really hmm that was uh that was worse than i is that worse than that's hmm. it's probably a little bit worse than i expected i was hoping maybe i recovered within like two seconds but i get i guess three is fair I'm going to go for the one cycle. We're going to stay true to our word. We didn't go for this yesterday. We're going to go for it today, though. Mm-hmm. 
please. My left right was so fucking heavy handed. And I also used a regular jump the first time, whereas I used a spin jump the second, which is the correct jump style to use as a spin. That wasn't pretty, but I actually think I recovered fairly well on the pipes there. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully we have a good blast. If we have a good blast, we can definitely have a clean rest of cave. And that'll kind of bail us out a bit. I'm gonna try keeping it alive. I'm still gonna try. I think last time we did clean the next four levels. One, two, three, four, yeah. So we already proved we can do it today. Let's do it again. Enjoy the lurk. Appreciate it. Yeah, lost a few seconds. It was actually a really good room right there until the um, the fish gates hosed them quite a bit. Three seconds, I think. In that ballpark. I wasn't a 60. I felt like it was really good.
Uh, fun thing for the tier one as well. Thank for the luck. I haven't had anything too crazy today so far. Uh, mostly world ones and then some botched caves and then one snow. So yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy, but with that sub right there, that's going to drive us into greatness. Still survive this with that mistake at the open. So we took a, a, a quick death at the start of the room. So it's not perfect, but... safe. What happened was that I thought I wasn't... I think what I thought is that I wasn't going to reach the platform. Because, you know, there's that, that little s small step where the yellow blocks are that the dry bones land on. So I think I thought I was going to land there instead of on top of the of the the upper platform. Which would have messed up my movement onto the wall, uh, the wall run. So I kind of backed it out. an extra second to think it through. Nah, that left-right messed it up. When you do that, you also need to make sure to do another left-right to not allow the disco to be too far to the right. Otherwise, it becomes really difficult to, uh, to mount it midair. Angles get rough. Pretty much at the same pace that we were earlier today, entering Slipknot. Okay, never mind. I was gonna go for the the alternate fast strat, the semi fast, and then my I was late re grabbing left. You don't want to re grab it too early. You have to wait till you're stopped, but. Never the input never went through. Ooh, wow, well, that's close. Okay, 
we won't uh, we won't go crazy here. We'll, we'll grab the halfway, but I am gonna t like kind of craft here a bit. So we did, we did learn a little thing there. So the, the run that I was talking about or referencing earlier, um, we skipped the halfway, but we also thought we could just nudge the red shell. So like I crash into the wall n to nudge it, but it nudges to the left if you do that. So this time I still crashed in the, re the, the wall to stop my speed, my momentum, and then... Uh, And then once I picked up the shell, then I could toss it with a neutral D-pad. So I think that's just what I'm going to do from now on. It's probably like a, like, I'm going to guess like two, two or three tenths slower to do it that way. But maybe I could be pleasantly surprised and find out that it's not. I would need to go into the lab and confirm the actual timing on it. But obviously the the way that I have been doing it for forever, where I don't bonk the wall. I mean, it might, it may be, uh, I mean, then I'm over jumping it, so. Yeah, it, it probably is like two or three tenths slower. But at least it works. Got both fast threats. Whew, I almost choked that. I thought I left the red bubble too early. Like I tried to late jump as late as possible. Uh my input dropped. Okay, very cool, very cool. So yeah, that that was bad on me. I so I my thing says to stay in standard grip the entire time, but I've been doing like claw standard switching, and I, I was getting caught in between grips. At least I think it was on the second death I was getting caught between grips. So if I'm gonna do multiple grips, I gotta. have a plan as to when when the switch occurs otherwise just stay with standard as my splits tell me to do which is probably the better choice but Lost a truck cycle, but at least we didn't die. That was 
kind of slow, so... Fuck, I did an extra. Okay, no major punish there. So we got the one cycle soft womp. We didn't go for the one cycle Koopa. Uh, not the best ropes post one cycle soft womp. Accidentally did a fifth bounce on the disco at the end. I might have like gotten a bit distracted. So I kind of lost track of like what I was supposed to be considering there. Um. And then we lost one jump cycle on the chuck. But that's not, overall, that's actually not that bad. It might, it might sound like a lot, but. It's good to get out of Tall Tall Peak clean because a number of the deaths are pretty expensive there. Fire spawns different. So then we don't get to do... <sighs> we don't get to do the good shit at the end. Like, post-fire fire leaf. Which is really annoying. Oh, I thought I was dead. I'm not dead, okay. Twice I felt like I should have been dead. Ooh, I'm surprised that he got credit for that spin. I I thought I'd press spin jump early. I'm not gonna lie. And I was actually aggressively pushing to the right, which is not what I normally do. Like I I I try to build some initial uh, momentum to the right. Like I crash into the, the the log wall, and then at a certain point I start holding right. Um, but usually not so aggressive that I'm like just on the the right edge of the leaf by the time I make contact. But that time I was actually pretty aggressive and it, I almost paid the price. Nice. Okay. Let's go. I didn't get the bounce. I Wow, the save there to recognize I was getting pushed. That was a really clutch save. So, <clears throat> I go for a midair spring bounce there. And I have a certain time where I'm like... Tossing the spring and jumping off the rope and blah blah blah. Okay, I got all, it's all choreographed as you would expect. So um, I don't know what the percentage is. I'm gonna just make up a percentage and say like 10% of the time, right? That I get instead of getting credit for the midair, the spring pushes me to the side. And normally, like this might be one of the only times actually uh, that I've actually reacted in time to save that situation. 
All the other times I, I just die. So that was actually nice to see that you can save that if you're paying attention. I gotta do a better job in the future now. Now that I know this, focus up. And be ready for the save. We attend to save and we lose an additional eight. So eighteen total. Gotta hold strong. Start clutching out some one shots. Fucking split, dude! <sighs> Thought I had time to adjust it in the middle of the fucking freeze frame, and I did not. Cool. It's the only reason I died there, and that's... A big time loss for no reason. Not a And I've been doing such a good job of not missing splits. So I actually tested some stuff out and changed the way that I, like, touched the foot pedal. been very successful, I would say. This one is limping along. It still has chances for sure. It still has chances, but every time we have an opportunity to clutch it out and bring it back, something goes wrong. Are actually ahead of PB. Looking at looking at the PB playback right now. PB PB was even lucky to get 
that Chuck. That was a <laughs> sketchy ass Chuck that past Stu did. But yeah, we're slightly ahead of PB. And I'm definitely uh, feeling good about our endgame more and more. So if we can get there, we'll probably do better than what we did on our PB. Maybe. But first things first, got to get there. Got to do uh, force right. Do you see how early that jump was? Like, I normally if I get my jump off after the message box, which does happen quite a bit, like, it's not a, a low percentage by any means. But when I do, it's usually like the jump animation just started, right? And I'm like still technically, like, I'm on the ground still pretty much. Whereas this one where I got the gold, I actually had distance. Not a ton of distance, but I, there was definitely some, a gap there between Mario's feet and the ground. And like like a substantial amount too, relatively speaking. It wasn't just like one pixel. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. PB had a reset in tower, so. There's definitely opportunities still left. Oh. I feel like I could have done the yellow Yosh a little bit better there. I feel like Waluigi's head shape on the side like here is weird. I feel like there's something off about it. Balls right now, nice. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a good time, Chris. Happy Saturday, dude. You're just in time for Forest Right. And, and not Forest Wrong. Pretty sure you could even see my um, my right left. Uh, nope, too low. Wow. God. Because I had, because I was early uh, jumping with the P speed, I had to do a right left to readjust, and typically that the that means you've used up some of your distance, so you're not gonna be able to reach the you're not gonna be able to use the Kaiser Helper block because the 
the fireball will be further right by the time you get to back to the certain Y position, if that makes sense. It's like the angles get messed up essentially. So that's why I had to go out all the way to the left instead of using the helper block. Okay, well, this has been a shitty ass forest, right? Insult to injury. success. You're gonna have to have the most killer endgame. still faster than regular rotation. So we are ahead of PB, but that's so much that I wish I could have had back on this attempt, <laughs> to be honest. But let's see what happens going into lava.
Yeah, this doesn't deserve a PB. This has been terrible, unfortunately. Quite the annoyance. I'm just trying to play this all. <laughs> you know, weird inputs. I was way too slow on that re grab. I don't think I needed to re grab, to be honest. And I was still holding... Are you shitting me, dude? I was still holding jump. I'm tilted, clearly. I was actually going to go for the skip here, but uh, slid on the uh, grave platform too much. Ugh, such a bad endgame by me. So unfortunate. have to play Immaculate, and even then we still might not get it. That's... I mean, that's how you draw that up. Was that two cycles on the... Okay, uh, bad, bad swap as well afterwards. to switch. Forgot to switch. Good. 
Oops. Whew, okay, well, it limped along. It, it technically still had a chance. It technically still had a chance. It was, uh, and we made it through the first section of Cape. And we would have made it through the second section if I had not forgotten to switch to YB instead of XA. Thanks for cheese, guys, by the way. Not exactly the, uh, the pace we wanted, but... It's nice that we were able to keep it alive for that long, right? I think that's a, a testament to our current consistency. I mean, I say that as an Anastasis it, like was terrible and Flint was terrible by me. So you could make the argument that it's like we're not consistent. But it's more the fact of the rest of the run, when we kind of were behind the eight ball, it felt like the entire run, right? It felt like we're always kind of in that plus one minute range. And we were able to like kind of stay there for a while, which gave us a chance, right? number of things started going wrong that just kept us that far back, but alternate universe, which is like two or three of those things go our way. Completely different ballgame at that point. Going to bed, no worries, dude. Seems kind of early though for you, right? I want to say, aren't you like central time? <laughs> Yo, thank you, Willow guy. I appreciate that. Oh, you're mountain time. No worries, man. If you gotta, if you gotta catch some Z's, totally get it. We're just gonna world record in the meantime. Don't mind us. <laughs> you believed in this one? I'll, I'll believe it when it gets out of world one. How about that? Missed the key jump. That's too big of a death. Sorry. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one. Yeah, of course. This was uh, an off by one error. So we, we made it to the second room of Cape. I skipped the halfway to try to save the additional second or whatever. And then I forgot to switch grips at the very end of the room. So we, we did all the stuff in the room. And then when I went for the final on-off switch, I was in the wrong spin. I was in spin fly instead of regular fly because I forgot to switch grips. This is the run.
the two hardest things in programming. What are the two hardest things in programming? I know it's, this is definitely going to be an off by one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yo, low key naming stuff can be kind of hard. No meme. For instance, uh, I was uh, coding up a uh, a config file reader, right? And I wanted to give the user an option to write in a comment to include with the data. So like this this like config object, you supply it with data and then it formats the config file with that said data correctly. And I wanted to have something where they can write a comment at certain points. And uh, for easy use, I didn't want them to have to provide the comment indicator, like the, the slash slash as an example, or the pound sign. It depends on what language, because that's another thing is like, this could be expanded upon to other languages, but so that, that was kind of the, the premise of it. So the, the function for, for writing this out, the input parameter is called comment because that's what the string represents, but it's not commented. So I have to add in the correct comment, indi comment indicator, right? So then when I modify the string and when I put in a separate variable so I don't taint the input, um, the, the separate variable is called commented comment. <laughs> oh, dude, naming things, man, it's impossible. Everything went haywire, dude. Totally wasted that chuck fight. So you're supposed to get a... Optimally, you get a 20 on first try. The backup method on second try is... I can't remember if it's 18 or 19. I think it's 19. We got a 13. And we obviously took a death. So, not what you like to see, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep on trucking. See what happens. Oh, okay, bonk. That was unusual by me. Final, final. 1.102. If you were being a, just like a tad bit uh, even more clever, you, it would have been version 6.189. <laughs> Let you see, see what... Uh, I'm sure you can figure out the reference there. <laughs> It's okay. You'll get it one day.
Really, uh, Blades of Chaos. That's interesting. I don't usually hear people talk up uh, the Blades of Chaos, Chaos song. I'll have to try to pay attention to it next time. I don't really like consider it. Right? Like it's not. It's not. I'm focused on the um, the inputs more. So even though I just played it, like I can't quite like picture up to play it again to be like, oh yeah. <laughs> my my favorite though is probably uh, Blast Brigade. I think that one's an absolute banger. Oh, you don't like the let's go portion? I feel like it kind of makes that song iconic, though. Like it stands out a bit. Technically, aren't all of these songs just remixes? <laughs> They all they all have to be ported over, right? Okay, this this runs for Zook. He said he's asleep right now. So we're gonna quietly get a hot run going. So as not to disturb him. He's going to start right here with this one cycle. Nope. Way too slow to get the one cycle. Way too slow. That was a very good decision to back that out. <laughs> At the end of the day, aren't we all just remixes? Good point, killer. Oh, I saved it. Wow. I cut my jump to fix that angle. And it just barely worked. No. Oh, okay. I was going to say there is no way that it must have been a double tap. I'm, I'm going for like 95% extreme mega hot spice and then 5% five, 5 classic. Off, man. God, I. Mm, that's so annoying. So annoying. One death there is already annoying, but it, it is manageable because those are those deaths are like individually quick. I would say, not instant, but they're they're quick. But two in a row definitely annoys me. I 
<laughs> Let me see if these... I like it, I like it. Yeah, exactly, there we go. An accurate statement there, Zook. Okay. I know I bitched and complained. I think we had like two and a half to save and we lost 12. So it was like 15-ish lost from the two deaths combined. So that that's like one... Didn't get credit for the double. That's like one medium death. We can work with it. We can work with it. I made a novice mistake not cracking open a cold one before the start of this run. I am I am parched. dolphin, maybe one and a half dolphin cycles uh, behind PB right now. I, I love having the um, PB playback. I thought I was so late that I wasn't going to get in the pipe. I just barely made it. I actually had started releasing jump to try to plan for the fact that I, I thought I was going to miss it. Right? I thought I, thought I was going to get credit for getting into the pipe. So you don't want to overhaul jump and then die to the fish troll. So I had already released jump in preparation for trying to dodge the fish. But at the last moment, it gave me credit. was on to something. This run's beginning to heat up a bit. Please. 
some slop there. It actually only cost us a little bit over a second because I think everything else was good. I don't think we had any slowdowns anywhere else, so... I don't think we had time to save. I could be wrong, but I don't think we did. So, that, uh, that, w that wasn't as bad of a mistake as it probably looked slash felt like. That was the only time today so far that I've actually had a good uh, disco section there. Today. So talking about today. I said that. shorted that jump. Like the part before that, like, setting that strat up is the hard part. Which we crushed, and then I just didn't hold jump long enough. Oh, fuck me. Sketchy as fuck. I feel like the shell had a lot of speed or something. So I don't feel like I was necessarily off on my visual cues. But the, the shell was just schmoovin', man. And I, I couldn't, like, hit it early. I was gonna not reach. I had to try to get it as far right as possible contact. Like, Mario as far right as possible. Which meant, like, I barely had any room left on that shell contact. But, no punish. We made it out. I'm actually surprised that uh, PB is ahead of us right now. PB must have had a pretty decent start to the run. I don't feel like we're in a bad position. Okay? In what universe? Did I not reach that? throw that under the uh, silly death category. Clearly, I must have shorted my bounce off of the thwomp without realizing it, but I feel like that part's pretty forgiving, too. It's not That's not a spot I'm usually wary of, like landing on the spin block specifically. We went full fast last run, crushed it. That might.
might not have... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't despawn it properly. So we can't even go... Get, didn't get any of the fast there. It's unfortunate. We had a good peak uh, last run, I think. Or pretty, pretty good. Some minor slot, but no death. Oh, that's the wrong jump type. So focused on the chuck. Messed up that as well. So yeah, sloppy, but it's right before or right after halfway. initially so I couldn't it took me forever to get under him. That was insanely good ropes off screen. Unfortunately, it comes after a rough second half, so we don't get to have the uh, the feels goods of uh, crushing it. Yeah, the tricky thing there is because I, I can't see, obviously, so I, one, I don't know when I'm landing on the individual ropes, right? So I had some really good timing there, but then on top of that, the, the final jump off the, off the top rope, I, it's very easy to uh, get on the wall In instead of landing cleanly um, on the next platform and that will throw off your timing as well and I trusted that I didn't touch it and got rewarded Dude. Yeah, that's 
good. I feel like this is roughly when the run starts to feel like it has a real chance. We get to force left. Usually have pretty good confidence for the thwomp squeeze, but felt mighty close to not getting contact there. Like as if I moved uh, too early. Okay. Not happy with how the thwomp squeeze went, but... <laughs> and technically we missed one chuck bounce in the second half. But that's fairly minor, I think. It's more the first half that was bad. Still do stuff. cycled that one. So, so no, I didn't get, didn't get the credit for the fast P-switch. Second try, by the way, is uh, guaranteed fireballs. That's why I'm a lot more, a lot more confident. I don't necessarily mind taking a very quick first death. Like I, I always give it a shot, right? I always see where the fireballs are going to start with on that first attempt, just to see if we can make it work. But the very first one was just in like, the absolute worst possible. Position. Ooh, I was almost uh, bonk, ceiling bonk right there.
Definitely some debauchery right there, but... I have in the past. Yes, I didn't. I don't. Did we watch the task for this specific run? I'm not sure. Six. Really clean. Wow. Good thing I had the extra health to kind of de-boost through that, but uh, what a dick. You, so usually the corner shot that I have is very uh, consistent. It's like top right, I have a pretty consistent strat. Um, there are, There's some chances for some variation, but I still feel pretty comfortable there. But the, the bottom left and bottom right corners are almost always exactly what I want. So a little bit surprised we didn't get uh, the goods. Very unlikely we'd have a 53 pace entering tower. But I could see us cleaning up the next three levels and getting like a low 54 pace. Entering tower, that'd be pretty good still. Oh my god, the the salvation right there. Sketchy as fuck. Not a, not a huge time loss. But we did have to uh, slow down a little bit. From the when the uh, what is it yellow to blue transition happened? Yeah, the the step sprint is a very uh, very cool level. Well designed. And especially for an like it's as it's an auto scroll, but yet it's still pretty fun to uh, to execute. So that's a pretty. 
Nice achievement by Barb. Get that P switch safe. left right which meant I left early which meant I don't think I had the remaining height left to get the Kaizo helper block uh, I don't think I haven't checked but since there is no version 1.1 I would imagine it is still not accepted Tough strat, to be fair. Okay. We're gonna take this the easy way now. The intended way. I was having pretty decent confidence on the brown dolphins, but. Terrible fish RNG. First one's random, to be fair, but it was in a perfectly bad. Oh, that green fish was right in my face. I'm, I'm actually surprised I didn't die there. It's close as fuck. Yeah, the bonus room, the vanilla bonus room, right? I thought the main thing, though, outside of that was, wasn't there a controversy over, like, credits? Like, now the rule is you have to have credits for or all the, like, unfucking believable How was, did I, wait. That's not even the right room for FFA. It not not in the if you make a did I not reset the power off the console? Fuck me. Holy shit. I don't know the last time I made that mistake where I forgot to power off, but I'm pretty sure that's what what, what it must have been cuz that wasn't the normal I failed to manip FFA room right there's a sp there's a specific room i would expect to see if i failed the frame <sighs> cool 
Very cool. Here you go. Sorry about that. There you go. Okay. Well, you know, I cannot believe we just got got by not powering down. That just completely rattled me. We had a, had a good one just now. I, would, I wouldn't say it was absolutely amazing, but it was definitely solid. I think, what was the pay? It was like, it had to have been a low 54, right? Low 54 entering tower. And I messed up the manip not once, but twice. But one of them was hosed from the beginning because I forgot to power off the console before starting the run attempt. Some, some cool air in my face now. Help us to stay calm. 
We got this. Let's go, guys. That's a 15 second time loss. Absolutely not. Credits rule didn't apply when he first submitted, but now it would. Yeah, I, I think the credits rule came up because of this hack. I could be wrong, but it's vaguely what I remember happening. their name on it i don't know to be honest here, here here is my my charitable guess though and maybe this is wrong and if, if someone knows the correct answer please feel free, free to correct me but I'm, I'm going to assume that they wanted him to credit because i mean i think we can all agree that like if you're using someone else's work as part of your own piece of work. Like, it's just the right thing to do to credit it. And the fact that Grand Pearl 3 was a, a super hyped release by a very big creator, probably want to make sure that the right precedent is set. You know, like, do it from like a, a top-down approach, like no one's above the rule kind of a thing. Just, that's just a, a, a hunch, though. Seems like it would make sense. Is it the same? I'm reading this late, by the way. Uh, backlash. But is it the same in every Mario game? Going through pipes underwater, you have to be standing on a platform. Uh, I can't speak to the other Mario games. But for SMW, that's true. So the example, like in, um, what's it called? Gill Issue. In, in Gill Issue, at the very end of the normal exit, you're, you're uh, racing the dolphin up to the pipe. And if you're late and you don't have dolphin access, you can't get into the pipe. Because you, you have nothing to stand on. It's a tile too high. Oh my word. No, I'm not taking that. Sorry. D pad. Absolute dog. Have I suffered any crazy glitches or soft locks? No. I have not. But, I mean, one of the things was doing bonus game, right? Which is when you get when you hit the goalpost at the end of a level, and you get that score like ten points, fifteen points, whatever. If you get to a hundred, you get taken to bonus game. But like I never hit that. Not because of this hack in particular, but just in general. 
I'm a one a bit superstitious like does grabbing it cause any extra lag right or slowdowns like I don't know if it's like calculating if it changes the way things points are calculated and slows you down so I just try to avoid it in general and then also it avoids the potential risk of not like accidentally entering a bonus game which you know creators typically ensure that that has been removed as a possibility but I mean it can be it can be forgotten as is evidence in Grand Pearl 3 apparently right so it's always a possibility so you're just usually better off dodging it The result of high profile release, yeah. I don't think they're like out to get bar by any means. I don't know if what I said came off that way, or if anyone's thinking that. I don't. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a. It's a quality rule. Like it. It, it makes perfect sense if you think about it. And again, if you put yourself in the shoes of the. The person who's making those resources, right? If someone's using your work and not giving you the the proper credit for it, even though if it's just like a name in a in a credit, like it's not like anything super duper crazy, but it's like you kind of deserve that that just like small thing, I think. To, to counter Hunt's point real quick, let me know if you think this is a good counter, but I, I think it is. I think it's one thing if you were to say that, like, it would be bad if they did it in a malicious way. Like, oh, this is Barb. Yeah, let's just fuck him over. Let's not approve his hack, right? That would be one thing. I don't think that's the case here. Uh, two, it would also be a different story if they only applied this metric to, to Barb going forward. Right. If but if if they even handedly apply this rule to everyone going forward with Barb's hack included here for Grand Rule Three, then I think that's totally fair. Because at some point, if there's going to be a rule change, right, someone's going to be the first guinea pig to it, right? And it just in this case happens to be Barb. Some of it was incredible. Yeah, it's also, it's, I do get how it's tough though. I, cause I don't know if it's something that he said or if someone else told me that he had said or some, someone else just mentioned it. I don't know what the exact uh, context of this was, but the, the general premise was, if I understand it correctly, is, you know, obviously he, how long did Barb spend making Grand Pearl 3, right? Was, wasn't it multiple years? And if the rule didn't exist upon his initial start, I think it's totally, totally understandable that if he doesn't know, like if this rule doesn't exist, he isn't, he's not thinking about it. Those, especially those early designs, he might have grabbed something and then not written it down, or maybe he wrote it down but then lost track of where that write down was. You know what I'm saying? 
whether it was a physical piece of paper that he lost track of or something on the computer, a file that got lost because maybe he got a new computer at the time, like over the course of the years. I don't actually know. This is just like hypothetical situations that could cause this scenario to occur, right? I would highly doubt that he, like, intentionally, like, wah -ha -ha -ha, I'm not going to credit Joe on this one. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm sure if, if whatever it was, it was either, you know, an accident, an oversight, you know, good intentions. Oh, my God. What the fuck? That shark did not go to the thing. I'm going to try to play through it. I'm not playing through that, though. Also, that's that's very fair, Mill. We did we did touch on that there were those other aspects. Or we are getting kind of stuck on this like one component. Total, that was just greed. <laughs> totally greedy right there. I wanted to get a really optimal on-off because I was annoyed by the plus 1.5 from the, from the shell steal. Yeah, it's nice that, that you're not, like, instantly dead for missing the on-off. It very easily could have been a setup where he could have you killed, but yeah. Oh, God. Accidental extra bounce there. No major punish, but spooky. Yeah, this is like a sloppy start. But we can work with it. We can work with it still. Let's see what happens. Nope, that's... Okay. Slop continues. What the fuck? Oh, you bitch. Why? 
Why? Double tap on off? God. I'm just gonna reset. Every, not, I mean, not everything's going wrong, but... Come on, double hit on off. Failed some key jumps. My shell was stolen <laughs> in uh, the second half of level one. Oh, that that run was cursed. <laughs> that run was clearly cursed. Yeah, the shark can bounce off of blocks and shit. Um, <clears throat> so, if you are familiar, there is a Kaizo block guarding the halfway, right? And, uh, you know, it, what its intention is to block you from getting halfway. So, you go up straight underneath it, and haha, you don't get a halfway now. It's, it's, it's destroyed. But you can actually use the Kaizo block to kill the shark. Which many people already know about, right? But the extra piece that you might not realize is if you mess up... Like, if you're not going for the Kaizo block kill, but you take a bad angle such that you hit the Kaizo block while still having rightward speed... Right, so you accidentally hit it, but you're still chugging along to the right. The shark is coming in right away, bounces off the Kaizo block, and kills you. <laughs> I've had that happen a handful of times. It's definitely a thing. Now, if you're paying attention, if you realize that you've hit it, you know you do have an opportunity to dodge it, right? You can kind of change your angle a little bit. But it happens pretty quick, right? So you... you the first time you ever do that, you are almost assuredly going to die. You probably aren't going to be able to react fast enough. But after that, if you kind of see the, the writing on the wall, you can kind of plan accordingly. <laughs> yeah, the Kaizo block with the assist. Who am I going to dedicate this attempt to? Zook's asleep. I failed for yell. Tried all all day yesterday. I tried to get Bojard the Waluigi run. Got to Bowser three times and couldn't do it. Hmm, Dante wants it. Okay. We'll, we'll see what we can do for Dante. percent perfect like, it, like the movement felt a little bit sketchy but still still strong there wasn't there wasn't really any major hiccups it just felt a little sketch speaking of which Fifty one XX, yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be nice because it's gonna be deathless, right?
Oh. I'm dead. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that. Fuck. Okay, well, I fucked up the early bullet. I fucked up the fish into the early bullet spawn. But I recognized well in advance the fuck up I had done. Dante run. You hate to see it. That was a series of unfortunate events. It's just like being so proud that I had made a good save on the fish section. Really smart play. <laughs> and then I completely bumble the the piranha thing, which we have a very consistent setup for it too. Like that was silly. The the crazy part is I actually could have saved it too. I somehow got credit for a bounce that I wasn't ex I thought I was already dead. Like I wasn't expecting to get credit for the bounce. If I had expected it, or at least recovered quicker, we could have uh, salvaged that with. Dude, what is going on, dude? Today's shell steal. I don't know why the percentage is so bad today. Them steal my shell does happen from time to time, but it's. I, I wonder. I would be curious to see what the stats were today on them stealing it back. It, it feels like a 50 50 proposition for some reason today. When I'm more expecting, like, a. Did I lose my speeder at the end? Uh, like a, what, 85 15 in my favor? that <laughs> saying I get a gold there I don't know I don't know about that I mean it was only 0.02 or something but calling shenanigans Fun idea for a for a prediction bet. If the, if this run fails, so get your get your pip ready. That's a back and forth. God damn it! Why did he not do the thing like normal? speed okay oh like early it's like a wide open pipe too it's so free
Oh god. Well, I lost another cycle. Two cycles. It's actually not two full cycles because getting the one that I missed gets you a twenty, a, a very high twenty. Getting the next one is a, a high nineteen. Um, so off by one. That's not like a full cycle because you can see now we got a sixteen here. It's like one in a third cycles or something like that that I lost. I thought I was late on the upright toss, so I thought I was going to crash into the wall. <sighs> okay. to the caves. Let's go.
cycle. It's a solid enough setup on it, though. Oh god, I cannot... Let's do a prediction bet. Let's see. Let me explain this. So the next run that's on decent pace to snow. So any any run that gets to snow will be will count that as decent pace because I'm not going to reset, you know, liberally. Um, attempt 205 or earlier. We're about to start attempt 199. So we have what is that? Nine zero one two three four five. So seven attempts. So we. Oh, you want to? Oh no, we didn't. Uh, no, no one picked a character. Okay. Uh, what's up, you kings, by the way? So, yeah, the seven attempts to get that. And then the next one, we're going to go in order, right? So it's, if that, then it's the 215 or later. That's perfectly reasonable. But then if it's neither of those two, is it going to be an even attempt or an odd attempt, right? So it's something at 206 to 214 is when we next get into snow. The evens get that uh, side and the odds get that the other, you know. You know what I'm saying? But here, let me be, I'll be right back. One second. Okay, let's do it. Let's 
attempt 199. The first of seven for the believers. The me the mega believers. Feels like Bowser will be extra dry tonight. We have sadly not seen him. We've we've made it to so long once, but we didn't get to Bowser. And we made it to on a separate run, we made it to Tower of Fate. And we made some boo-boos there. So not uh not the prettiest night so far, but the night she is still young, right? I think. Ten thirty. Yeah, we still got plenty of time. I only need one hour, right? Not even. I'm dead. Not dead. Wow. Okay. Bets are closing soon. Place your bets if you want to take a crack at where we're going to end up here. You get more proficient at the levels. Um, so th what you're saying makes it sound like because you're getting faster at the levels you might be getting to like different cycles of obstacle. Like you're, you're in a different cycle of the obstacles upcoming and that changes what like strats you need and it kind of throws you off. So in that regard, I would say no. Because we kind of meticulously route everything out to be optimal from the beginning. So getting better at the planned out strats usually makes it more consistent, not less. Like, we don't really run into those kind of weirdisms. Um, but in a different way, your statement is kind of true. Um, when you get more proficient at the levels if we're talking about uh, consistency with the fast strats. Typically what that results in is a better PB, which then makes it harder to maintain that pace going forward, right? Obviously, this, it makes a lot of sense when you give a like a real example of what I'm what I'm discussing. Um, hold on. So yeah, when your PB is an hour and two minutes in this game, like we had once upon a time. We can take a lot more mistakes, right? But then you get the the 58. Now you require a, a higher level of consistency than what was necessary before. So yeah, it's like getting better at the game makes it harder to run, <laughs> which is kind of paradoxical. So in more fine tuning the answer here, the, the, the specific dip in performance in this regard happens 
right after PB. Right? So you're, you're, you're acclimated to what it takes to get a 102. And you work really hard to beat that, and you get better and better and better, improving your consistency. And then when you finally break through and you get that new PB, now you have to recalibrate what quote-unquote good is, right? It becomes a different metric. And so early on after your newest PB, that's the dip in performance as you get that recalibration. And it requires potentially making additional tweaks Finding places where, instead of having 95% consistency, maybe you need to have 98% consistency, right? It might be something, like, very small like that, but it could make all the difference to actually getting... Or, like, maintaining those good paces. Okay, someone bet big on, uh... The full believe before two oh or by two oh five. I don't know if that was a. <laughs> I don't know if that was a smart play. Whoever did that. We'll see. We'll see if your faith was uh, misguided. slower than I was anticipating. In regards to my execution, it was a little bit slow. But it was just fast enough for success. Yes, I 100% I agree with that statement. That's part of the reason why I, I, I do it the way I do. Um, and I, I always state this when discussing the way I, my, like, my approach. I go for the aggressive stuff up front for particular reasons. Uh, like, I set my goals very high to begin with. Like, I know I want to get, like, world record in Grand Pro 3, for instance. So, to me, it makes more sense... Let's just learn all the fast stuff so that all of those early attempts are nothing but practice for the end grind, right? Because, I mean, no matter what stuff you do, your those early runs, they're not going to be amazing, right? So you might as well start trying to build consistency with the hard stuff. And you learn a lot doing it that way, right? Like, those early ones, are gonna, you're going to learn a lot anyways. But at least you're learning stuff about the end game strats that you're planning on using for record runs. Right? And you can figure out, okay, this strat is inconsistent because of X, Y, or Z. And then you can spend some time during that early portion of the grind figuring out, okay, well, instead of doing it this exact way, maybe I'll take like three tenths of a second off to do it this way instead. Or maybe I can do the exact same speed, but I alter the setup to be this, this, and this. And now it's more, it's like, 50% more consistent, right? You, those decisions are happening early on as you're trying to, as you're like building your consistency, which is really nice. Uh, makes for a, a very fluid progression, I feel like, and has the added benefit of not feeling like you're taking a step. Oh, fuck. That was terrible by me. Uh, it makes it feel like you're not taking a step backwards, right? If, if you um, 
have really good medium speed strats. Like, are you really consistent with your medium speed strats? It's gonna be difficult to get out of that bubble. Not impossible, but it's gonna be difficult. Hold on. Terrible. Terrible. Uh, it's gonna be difficult to get out of that bubble of comfort. Because ne once you get to that point where you're like, this is how I execute, and I'm now consistent with it. It's a big ask to say, okay, well, now let's scrap that and go back to something inconsistent to try to save, you know, half a second or one and a half seconds. You have to, if you're going to do it that way, you have to be mentally prepared for those failures that will happen immediately upon switching strats. Because even I say all the time when I'm um, tweaking my stuff that, okay, the first time I get to this in a real run, expect it to fail. You need to have that expectation. Obviously, you would prefer it to just work first time with the, the new stuff. But it oftentimes does not go that well because when you're signed in it, maybe, maybe your save state was giving you some misinformation, right? Maybe it's a little bit different in a run. Maybe the nerves... Right? Maybe, maybe it's one of those things where it's in practice it's fine, and then in a run, it's the it's really deep in a level or in the run in general, right? And now you have the added pressure of the the punishment, the time a forty second time loss or something like that. If you mess it up. So yeah, you always I always say expect it to fail. But if you're going to start with all the, the medium speed strats, it's going to be difficult to do an overhaul. Like a, like everything gets updated. It's going to it's gonna feel way too risky. Because like everything's going to fail and you're going to take... Like I said, it's going to feel like you took 2, 10, 50 steps backwards in your progression. So but then... If you get through all of that mental anguish, right? And let's let's say you're able to do that. You start with your medium strats and you're you've worked on a good mental game that you can handle the switch over. It is a lot of work to reroute. Like out, outside of just like the muscle memory aspect of like okay, this is these are the cues I was looking for, now I'm going to do these cues. Like outside of that, just the time it takes to learn to learn the new stuff. You have to go into the into the lab, make some save states, understand the obstacles, the visual cues. Right? If, if you want to have any sort of reasonable chance of getting it in a run, you have to understand how the new strat works, the pitfalls, the the backups, any all that stuff. And if it's just one strat, that's manageable. But if it's like the entire run. That's a big ask. So then it's going to become more often than not, you're not going to switch over your entire run. You're going to start with your medium strats, and then you're going to switch over maybe a handful of strats. Maybe just one level strats. Like maybe you look at Tall Tall Peak, and you say, okay, I'm going to try doing the one cycle double saw after halfway, because it's right after halfway. So if I fail it, I, it's not a big time loss, right? So maybe you take that kind of approach and you pick and choose a few. Um, but just think of how much that iterative process is going to take to transform the entire run. Because what's going to happen is you're going to do a few, like I said, like the Tall Tall Peak one. You're going to spend however many hours it takes to like learn it, practice it, implement it in a run, start getting good at it in runs, right? Th those attempts are going to rack up. And then when you finally feel comfortable with that, you're now back into that baseline good status quo feeling again. Now you're going to have to do it all over again for another set of three, five strats, whatever. Until, until, and rinse and repeat until your entire run's transformed. And just, just think how long that would take. So that, that's why I don't go for the, those like medium strats to begin with.
There's also one more benefit. Uh, in my opinion. Of going for the, the hard stuff first. Is that... There are times where I opt... I, I start with the hard strat and then I opt out. And so just... I mean, speedrunning is, is definitely a mental game, right? You have to control your emotions. You have to be very patient, endure a lot of resets, right? And this kind of goes back to what I was talking about with the the mental anguish of you feel like you're taking a step backwards, right? When you start adding a new, faster stuff. But then that's why we can kind of cheat the system a bit, the mental system here, by going for the hard stuff first and calibrating ourselves against that set of strats when we eventually like every run i do there's always i start with a, the base set of strats x and then over the course of the run i i get maybe y strats that are new that are faster and then i might remove z strats uh z number of strats that were a little bit too risky right and so for that removal we go from like, oh my god, this level is balls hard. To, holy shit, this is, a uh, like, easy every time. And then all of a sudden, the runs feel wide open to PB again. And obviously, we want to pick and choose our battles, right? Like... I'm try I try only to remove the utmost craziest dumb shit. The stuff that maybe it only saves like one or two tenths of a second. And that I'm not quite consistent enough at. So that the, the you know. The strat that we're replacing it with isn't that much of a, of a time loss. But it's a, it, it gives you those good um, emotions, right? That, okay, we're, we're actually on, still still on some hot runs, even though we've kind of toned it down just a tad. Okay, hopefully that all made sense. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know how I didn't get punished there. That was... That was something special. Okay, this is, I mean, we're only talking about World 1 right now, right? So, it's way too early to say this is going to be like a god tier run. But it is nice that this is, this is probably the cleanest World 1 we've had all day. Uh, Rich, thank you for the Prime Gaming for 19 months. Just in the perfect time. This run is for Rich now. So it's going to crash and burn, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's like... We're obviously... We're not on our best ever pace, but... I feel like we played very solid on all these rooms. I don't... I can't recall anything that was... I guess, I guess there was like that little sketchiness in... Um, Blades, but that was extremely minor. It's felt very strong so far. See what happens. Oh, 
Uh, Barbara Chandler said he's not going to do a 1.1 1 .1 since all his post stream time is with the kids. Makes sense. Yeah, you got uh, you got booted by uh, by Juz. Was it Dito that uh, requested the, the Juz? Bummer. I mean, totally understandable. You know, he wants to spend time with his family, but it is a bummer because they're like I said, there there are a number of quality of life updates that this hack could use. Okay. Oh my! Why can I not buy a one cycle? This is why I took this strat out, by the way. I swear it is not that bad in practice, and then I get through this shit in runs, man, and I just it just always fucking blows up in my face. I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. We're not doing that strat anymore. At least, no. Not, not, no. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm so frustrated that that's not working better. We're going we're gonna to do the two cycle from now on. I feel like I should be able to do that strat, though, dude. Like, sure, it's tricky, but it's not... It's not, like, 10% accuracy tricky. You know what I'm saying? It's... it's Very disappointed with, um... How that's kind of been transpiring lately. I thought I made a pretty solid update. It is what it is. So, and part of the thing that sucks about it, not only do I feel like I should have better accuracy with it, but it is a pretty big death. Like, that's, it's not like it's a, um, oh, it's like a five second or even a, I mean, 10 second is still, like, I would probably call that a medium, the start of medium size death. Uh, so it's not a small, it's not even an, an early medium. It's, I don't even know, I don't know what the exact time loss is. Isn't it like 20 sec something seconds? Like, it, it's more than you would expect. So it's that, that extra, like, salt in the wound. Like, not only did you miss the strat, but now, now your run just kind of looks dumpstered, unfortunately. Hundred percent concentrated power. Well, exactly. Good song. Okay, we will we will forgo the uh, fucking one cycle. God damn it. I wish Toxic Tunnel, I mean, yeah, I, wish, I wish Toxic Tunnel was earlier. I mean, I know it's already early. It's level eight. Nine. Now, tech, now, normal exit's level nine, right? You get six. No, 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 it's eight. It's eight. No, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, seven, eight. Yeah, 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 it's eight. So yeah, it's level eight, which by most metrics you would say is, is early, but... Given the the hard shots that I want to go for in that level, I wish it was like level two. It would feel so much less bad <laughs> to to die to that strat. Like the reset would be much more bearable, but it is what it is. Oh, 
Oh, uh, okay. There, there goes the cleanness. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Duel 5 is not looking promising, by the way. Just throwing that out there. I don't I don't know who Oh wait, no, who who was the big believer? I have to check this. Gonna gonna feel bad, but Oh, does it not tell me? If you have more than one option it doesn't uh, give the the highest bidder yo what's up furious <laughs> this is all to make the 205 clutch yeah <laughs> dark zero tool is that that's a StarCraft name, isn't it? Is that one of the Protoss guys? The name sounds familiar. You're not wrong, Bojar. You're not wrong. Thank you, Cheesy, by the way, for the good luck. I do appreciate that. We've been a little bit stuck the last 30 minutes, I think, maybe. Not, not been the prettiest, but uh, we've had two solid attempts today. Uh, Fox, thank you for the brand new Prime Game itself. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. StarCraft and, uh, the StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty, which was, I, I think that's what was, that one was called, which was the first portion of StarCraft 2. Really enjoyed that. I was always a uh, Terran main, because they start you with that in StarCraft 1, so I got like accustomed to that, and there there were some missions, obviously, with the other, you know, Zerg and Protoss, but they seemed more confusing to me. <laughs> I'm, I, have a, I have a simple Terran mind. Let's go. Oh, I didn't think I got P-Speed at first. Nice. <laughs> I 
<laughs> exactly, exactly. I ain't got no time for that shit. I've definitely gotten my ass handed to me by in, in the multiplayer though with uh, with people like Zerg rushing me and stuff. They do those early scouts. They see I'm a scrub. I, I would say I'm I'm definitely competitive, and I would say I'm a pretty solid gamer. But uh, StarCraft I, I found fun, but it, I'm just not. It's like not my my best genre. <laughs> so hard to manage everything. As a as a solo player, I think I only was like a silver quality, and and uh, was it like three v three or something like that? I think I got to gold. This was for StarCraft Two multiplayer. But yeah, I'm a I'm a big ass scrub. I just, I just want to make the big armies, and I want to do the Sim City. Oops, I did an extra bounce. I got, I gotta make my, my, uh, my civilization look nice and clean. All the ducks in a row organized. Then mass pool everything. Get those uh, medevacs or whatever they were called. Healing all the marines and fire bats and shit. Gets too salty for StarCraft? Nah. I'm, I'm not good enough to get salty at StarCraft. I could definitely get salty at League, because I, I am good enough at League to... Like, feel like I should be doing better, or that something, like, my teammates should do something differently. Now, obviously, you're not in control of your teammates, but, you know, if, they, if they're doing something, like, absolutely ludicrous... Like a legit troll. Okay. Awkward. I... We're losing a decent amount here. Not as bad as I was expecting. Yo, totally fair, Zeratul. I do appreciate the the belief in me, though. We're gonna see if I can uh, can do you a solid right here. Get rarely get salty when you played on stream. Yeah, I I think I can tr I do a decent job because I do try to take that like cerebral esque approach, looking from a looking back on it from a distance, right? Analyzing not only like like try, trying to analyze it so I know, like I said, it's not you can't really blame your teammates. Just you, you can't control your teammates, right? So that's like one thing. And then to looking at like where I make mistakes, oops, and try to learn from that. It's a, something I kind of really enjoy about watching uh, X Petu. He's a top tier Shen main in Europe. And he's got that kind of an approach, which like really 
resonates with me. He'll he'll do his his uh, his games and talk about like what he's thinking, what he's looking at on the map, item build and stuff like that. And then when he makes a mistake, he like owns up to it, and I I think that's very respectable and the my opinion the better approach. But we're all human, right? We all can get overcome a little bit. for the one cycle anymore. We've somehow lost all of our consistency on it. Right, fellow humans? <laughs> I kind of wish I had an eye tracker. Insert name. I feel like you guys would enjoy seeing what I'm looking at. Oh, okay, we can save this. I I saved it, but that was so weird to me. That was so different and slow. I mean, we did we didn't die. Absolute miracle. see the ones and zeros but no in all honesty it's like it's, it's there are so many very particular cues in my runs right and you guys always hear it when i'm sciencing stuff out and reading back my notes jumping at a specific pixel like releasing jump or switching the d-pad at a specific pixel Connect to the console. <laughs> I'm actually inside the console right now as we speak. You guys are the ones that aren't real. This is all just an elaborate sim. Simulator, the I think they have, they have a truck simulator, right? They got all sorts of things. This is the, this is the speed run sim. You're you're trapped in this hell 24/7.
Okay. I hope you're feeling good, Zeratul. We're, we're, I mean, Gil issue it could go wrong, but uh, we're 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 setting you up for success right now. Let's go. Ever pace. You love to see it. All we have to do is beat one more level for the believers. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling nervous. I was feeling nervous that we weren't gonna get it before 205, but let's lock it in right here, guys. We are literally trying to throw. I wasn't doing any of the good stuff that I wanted to do. Everything was haywire. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't botch that and die. Oh, oh, oh. oh just barely reaching that watermelon. God. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we secured the bag, as the youth say, right? Green exit. Thank you for calling it a watermelon. It's the only way, man. It's the only way. My whole life. I don't know why I started calling it that. Because, I mean, technically, it doesn't have any green, right? Three, four, five. Nah, I fucked up the fast right there. Fuck. I have to stall that a little bit. Okay. Not perfect by any means, but... Definitely way worse things that could, he could have done. So. Nice. Didn't slow ball at all. Love it. So no back turning there either. Clean. Nice. The casual of the satchel. <laughs> And swoopers look like parrots. I think I have called them birds in the past. I didn't have rightward momentum. Wow. Okay, didn't get what I wanted. Okay, no fast strat there apparently. Okay. 
Okay. I forgot to do the update there. I'm surprised we didn't get punished. I did a re-grab at near the ice sickles. That's a good decision. Uh, Robert, thank you for the 100 bits. Great con. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Very sweet of you. I may not always provide great content, but I can occasionally provide you some spicy content, so get your glass of milk ready. We've got something brewing right now. Two for two today and doing all the fast rats in this room. Not nah, messed up that one. No fast red bubble there. It's fine. Please. Oh my god. That was so botched, but... somehow survive with minimal time loss. Terrible. 
That's right, it's been letting me fucking down. The way that I navigate the narrow hallway. Might need to investigate that, it's been really shitty. We're going behind, apparently. Two cycle. Damn. Still good pace, though. Don't get it twisted, my friends. Still good pace. Just a pretty rough second half there. But that's the benefit of having a very fucking clean run up to that point. We can absorb that nice and easy. Yeah, I was doing a rough job on that uh, disco mount. It's usually pretty clean, but... Nice 95. That, uh... 95 is the optimal, but it's pretty difficult to get it, I think. A lot of times I get the high 94, which is still good. But nice to see a 95 every once in a while. I might be slow here. Uh, we're gonna try to do this, uh, normal, I guess. No, that was terrible. Why did I spin that? Would... That's what I get for trying to do it normal for... Just do it right. Two times getting an up input there. Awesome. <sighs> wow. <sighs> Holy shit, was that terrible. Yo, what's up, Orko? We just lost an incredible pace with one of the most horrendous Hagakures I've had in a while. Feels bad. We were uh, only... Okay, so entering Tall Tall Peak, normal exit. We had, only, we had lost less than 50 seconds, I think. I think we weren't we were on like a 51 4x pace entering tall tall peak normal so we were uh hella green we were we were crushing it uh tall tall peak normal did not go very well in the second half unfortunately so took us down a peg we were still in a in fantastic position though we were like exiting it we were i think five seconds off of best ever pace so obviously, very, very respectable. And then, uh, well, you know, just I could not beat Hogger Kure. Fifty-one forty-six pace, yeah. God, I've. I feel like I've done a pretty decent job of uh, forest as well. As of late, I kind of I kind of trust myself there. I would say one of the scarier portions is Hagakure one, though. I feel like that's the one that has currently has the most potential for. Some random bullshit. 
especially in terms of getting me stuck, right? Side. That was our best ever pace. And we have locked in. I made sure to save my splits there, so we now have it on record. I, I, of course, I blinked. So yeah, the, ni the nice thing about having it on record means that I won't be that far in the green ever. Well, it, we might we might be able to green again, but because yeah, like we said, there's like 40 seconds, so we might be able to sneak some amount of green in there. But it probably would take a while to green again. And the reason that that's good is that it's less pressure, right? So again, going back to the discussion of uh, speedrunning being a mental game, the reason I like comparing against my best ever paces is that being in the green is uh, is tough, right? Because you know you're doing well. It's like that's like the the visual indicator, and it will oftentimes either consciously or subconsciously affect your decision making as a means of preservation, right? You see that you're in the green, you might not You might not want to take something as aggressively as you normally would if you were in the red. Or you might start to doubt yourself because you're on good pace you don't want to make mistakes and that might make you second guess if you remember a visual cue correctly right so that's kind of the one of the objectives there of doing the best ever pace is that you only have to deal with those emotions like once right and then every run after that you're in the red <laughs> <laughs> Which is a different mental game to be able to withstand, right? Under, you know, just like green is the, the, the positive indicator, red is typically you're going to think of it as the negative. You might feel bad but about yourself, like, oh, shit, I'm going slow or whatever. But that's the, the cool thing is you can kind of train yourself. Get, get nice and cozy with these, like, low red numbers. Like, obviously, I'm not happy when I'm, like, you know, plus two minutes or whatever. But I know, like, what the sweet spot is. Right? Close enough so that we're in striking distance. But not green. So that we can avoid those, like, risky emotions. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Mangort? And Lost score. I feel like there's one other thing that was nice about the best ever pace. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. The last thing I'll say for now. The one, the other nice thing about it, and going back to the, the mental game aspects, the mental game aspect of it, is you can always tell yourself if you're if you're in the red but on good pace, the reason you're able to calm yourself down, at least the way that I look at it, is by saying, well, I'm in the red, so by definition, I've had a better run. Right? I've I've done this exact same thing before but faster, so there's no reason to put any extra pressure on myself. So there's that aspect and the idea of saying if you can do it once, you can do it again, but faster, which is a, definitely a, uh, a mantra that I 
stick by. Mangort, this run is dedicated to you. You, mi you missed uh, a 51... 46 pace entering the normal exit of Tall Tall Peak, which we said was how many minutes in? Was it, wasn't it like 25 minutes into the run or something? I don't remember. It's very solid. Also, what's up, Mighty Mouse? I see you sneaking in there. It's Just do it with nerves anyway, true. But it said it was. It couldn't have been 16. It had to be farther than 16. Because it's 8 minutes for home. And then I think it's another 9 for cave. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. And then Tall Tall... Oh my god, I got credit for that? Wow. This good cell is trying to misbehave. Uh, Tall Tall Peak Normal is the end of snow. So yeah, it had to be deeper than 16. Oh, thank god I gave... Oh my god. So far left and then so far right. Uh, red split, at, this is at least under my uh, settings. Red split means the last, the most recent split you did was losing time for that single split, and it's overall behind your splits. Uh, pink is you saved some times on some, you saved some amount of time on the most recent split, but you're still overall behind. And then on the, the the flip side of that is um, blue. Blue is your you lost some amount of time on the most recent split, but overall you're ahead. And then green is you save some time on the most recent split, and overall you're ahead. So those are the four colors. And then if you see gold, we all know what gold is, but just for completionist sake, uh, if you see gold, that's the fastest we've ever completed that specific split across any run, regardless of if we are uh, ahead or behind overall. How is that throw block hallway that bad to me? Like I don't, I don't know. I've never been. It's been a while since I was that slow. That's the crazy thing. I don't remember being that slow. <laughs> like, on, the, on that specific attempt. You know. Usually it's pretty obvious. Like, oh, I made... Oh, wow, I saved it. I'm going to lose a... Uh, okay. That could have been worse. Could have been better. Ball and chain blunder. Uh, typically completely messes up the spin block bridge. What's up, Barnes? Sorry I didn't see you there for a moment. surprised that we didn't lose more time. Actually, we just had a discussion about this today, you canes. Uh, so we were talking about 1.1 and like why the hack wasn't on uh, SNW Central and all that jazz. And then a little bit later, Baudrillard came back with some information. Uh, apparently, I don't know, Baudrillard, did you say that was from like today's stream or a recent stream or something? But Regardless, Bojard was watching Barb stream at least sometime recently. 
um, where Barb said he's not doing a 1.1 and instead uh, focusing his time on his like post stream time uh, focused on his family, which is totally understandable. Golding life right now, nice. Any particular reason? Gonna be, I'm gonna be disciplined and not go for the one cycle, even though I badly want to show this level who's boss and do it. Gonna be disciplined. You know what, I'm gonna do partial. I'm gonna go for the quick note block at least. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. Next time, though, we'll, we'll we'll at least do a no block skip. Give ourselves partial credit, because at least that part can't it can get us killed. But it is the more consistent of the two pieces of the one cycle. The no block skip is the more consistent piece. So that'll be my modification, I guess. strat chart. I almost went too early on that. I, was, I played it. Oh my god. I'm going to do it again. Oh my god. We, almost, we had that exact mistake earlier today and I was kind of salty about it. It almost happened again. Not getting the drop deep enough, and then not getting to get a clean pipe on the other side as a result of it, and running out of time. That was very close to disaster. <laughs> God damn it, lost score. goes well there. It's like a, such a nice section. Late decided to toss that up. Can you not be a dummy? Okay. We're, we're being dummies right now. It's terrible. well done by me, but that's okay. It's okay. Give us a good porpoise, and then we'll just focus on uh, doing a better job next time in Guild Normal.
split early. It was good though. Like, that was, that was a pretty good fight, but it wasn't even a 43, so it wasn't like perfect. So, yeah, from this position, ima imagine us being pretty much 100% perfect. All the way through uh, up until normal peak. That's the pace we were on. That's crazy. It's a little bit sketchy there, but... Deflated. That was terrible by me. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I was... I jumped the gun. I made the block, like an idiot I don't know what was going through my head that's not the that's not the spot that I make the block I don't I don't make it until I'm inside the muncher hallway I don't make it to the right of it there there is a way to make it from the right side but it's a it's a slightly different setup Ugh, that was so dumb if I tried the 20th anniversary uh Mount Dude, no what are the uh what are the flavors and most importantly, do they have good names? I feel like Mountain Dew does a really nice job of... Coming up with interesting names. Like Voltage and uh, Blackout. I think Baja Blast is also pretty fun to say. red. Feels bad, man. I fell I fell out of love with Code Red. I don't know when it happened, but it just it doesn't hit the same anymore. Live wire though. Live wire slaps. There's a Baja Laguna Lemonade and a Baja Point Break Punch. I don't think I'm familiar with those, but I would give them a try. The punch one sounds more interesting to me. Oh, thank God. You have to be a little bit... Oh, 55. Very strong. 
Uh, you have to be a little bit careful there with the, the triple key jump strat. Um, that f is it, I think it's the final one, right? You don't want to rush it and be, do it from too far left. Oh my god. What is... What am I doing? That, I mean... That was not the calculations. <sighs> I do an extra wiggle because I think I was going to get wrecked otherwise. Yeah, they're not the calculations in the in the shark room, but we finagled victory there somehow. What the f Oh my god, dude, that was close. <laughs> I wanted to try that. I figured this run wasn't like perfect, so this was like the good opportunity to test that. Because I think when this shell is moving, you can spin to, to mount it, I think. And so what I was thinking to myself was, well, maybe you can just always spin on top of it. And that would make grabbing the halfway while mounting the shell uh, much smoother and theoretically slightly, slightly faster. See, I took a little bit of a gambit there, but I was okay, I was okay with that. When you do the... Um, the regular jump has a higher minimum height. So you kind of have to release the D-pad a little bit and coast to the blue shell. Because if you just hold right and do a min jump, I think you overshoot it. get back over the good luck was it a good night did he bring home the big bucks it was a dumb night well <laughs> it do be like that sometimes right 
But you know what's not going to be dumb? This attempt right here. It's going to be the cleanest freaking cave you've ever seen. Yeah, Saturday nights are usually supposed to be pretty good, right? Do you think it maybe it's because like Easter is tomorrow? You gotta be. Okay, pick up the fucking spring. Well, at least we didn't die. I bet you that's like two seconds. Maybe not even. A little bit over one, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't even know if the meter lasts for two. Okay. So yeah, our modification, we're gonna go for the no block skip, but no one cycle. We can separate those two strats from each other. High 41, nearly a 42. I wonder if it might be able to get a 42 that way. Definitely some. Some cash back on that. Risky mistake again. <laughs> uh, it's Easter Eve for us for only five more minutes. So Paco must be home. I see that uh, Twitch is uh, being broadcast right now on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Milk and cookies out. Uh, don't forget to give me your address, Mangort, so I, so, Mangort, so I can go grab that... Uh, off your hands. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's brunchy, right? That's Easter's kind of a, a brunchy kind of a a holiday, right? That's what I associated it with that, at least. I'm surprised I wasn't a 4-2. That felt incredible. Felt really nice.
Wait, was this the Mangort run or no? I don't remember when I called that out. Sadly, no. Feels bad. What could have been, Mangor? What could have been? Oh, that- I just realized why you called it World Record Eve. <laughs> I was a little slow there. slow down. Not huge, but that was terrible. We have 10 in-game timer to spare, though. And while we have used up some of it, definitely not used all of it. Hot. Damn, dude. In the green? This, I mean, obviously we had some flubs there, but overall this run, what the? And I think specifically, wasn't it like not that? This is Wasn't this the one where I was testing out a theory in Testudo Normal? Was that this run? So if that's the case, then we really just crushed uh, Cave. He says as he's still in the cave split. Let's see if my hubris gets the best of me. Surely not, right? Oh my god. Almost did. I was holding right bumper instead of left bumper. Sorry, Hank. Keep in mind, the run earlier today was 51.46 pace entering peak normal, right? So between now and then, we only have 16 seconds. Hello? This guy. Stupid plane. Focus. This is why it's hard for me to want to break away from Grand Pro 3 right now, because 
Our consistency is pretty good. Nice. That's why you, the thing you gotta strike. Oh. While the iron is hot, right? it. I did not think we would get the clutch on that. Okay, still good though. Welcome back, zombie. Or keep striking. Just Yeah, just wait for the friction to take effect, killer. You pound enough, the heat will come. not need the extra spin block. I was not confident. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't think killing the shark actually saves time compared to what I do. So I don't I don't plan on doing that. And I think we've had we have a, a gentleman's agreement not to go for the pause jump in Brother Bastion. Like that's the real strat that would be that would cause a huge delta if we started allowing that. Got it, let's go. Nice. Very good room. say earlier that it'd be a long time before I got back in the green. I just realized I said that earlier and then like <laughs> and then we were nine seconds faster <laughs> later this fucking stream. That's crazy. We're, we are we are doing some good stuff today. What is that? The pause strat? Uh, in Brother Bash, if you jump, then pause in the middle of the jump. I think if you still hold B upon exiting the jump, you get another jump. It's something like that. I don't, I don't know the exact mechanics, but it lets you bypass a lot in the um, second half, like the second room. Mm. 
and it was supposed to be fixed in 1.1, which is why we decided not to go. Like, we as in the, the runners decided not to use it. That way the runs would be more comparable between 1.0 and 1.1. It's been terrible there today. I cannot get my balance at that spot. I need to change. I, I mean, I, we're not changing the middle of the, of the stream, but I need to look at that. It's been terrible. It's a big death. Okay, so no no forward saw as a result of that. We'll take the two cycle. Instead, take the time loss. Still good pace. Let's go. This is, this is our redemption run, essentially. It's like identical pace, pretty much, to the one earlier. I don't know why I just can't do that saw. I gotta find a better technique or something. Closer and closer to fixing that Hagakure split, by the way. That might be too slow. mind. No good strat here. Oh my dude, what is going on? Okay, we lost six in-game timer, plus the death. Did not get to do the good fluid quad leaf and beyond. At least we survived. Which is more than we can say about the other insane pace today that got there, so. Getting all these like .01 golds. Might be partially early splits just from excitement, maybe? Okay. That's 0 for 3. So we'll... Not gonna risk any more time loss there on this attempt. We'll still go, like, next time we get here, we'll go for it again. I don't know why it's acting up all of a sudden. Because I do have pretty decent confidence in it. But obviously we don't, don't like to see it over three. jump god damn it oh
I mean, obviously, we can still do things. But, uh, that's... We got an extra hop out of the chuck. Which threw us off a little bit, but it wasn't even that part. It was, I think we failed to grab the spring cleanly, and it messed up kind of the angles and threw me... That's what really threw me off. And then I messed up the... I don't know the last time I missed that. Two shitty forced lefts in a row. Feels bad. for the... Well, I don't even know what the... Okay. No no good strat on that yellow P-switch because I completely flubbed the opening of this room and that's on a global timer, that thing, so my fast strat wasn't guaranteed to work. Just cook. It's not too often that we get to do a full one shot of that boss just because that first set of fireballs are RNG. Like the, the first attempt at Resner has RNG fireballs. So my strat doesn't always work. But nice to see the good things there. uneasy running without a timer. The run the right doesn't feel the same to me. I'm a, I'm a creature of habit, right?
last nine, though. Oh, cool. Now he's in the middle of fucking nowhere. That's terrible. <sighs> Damn it. I kept I kept my cool. Uh, I have a strat when he's in the bottom left, bottom right, and top right. But if he's anywhere in between, it's a crapshoot as to how to react to it. Um, and especially scary, obviously, when you don't have any uh, backup health, right? We, we weren't big Mario, so. You have to play a little bit careful. Can't overcommit. For a very good four strike. Why is there no card for hot drinks percent? What would the what would the category consist of? What would you have to do? I said it is about time that we switch back to hot drinks. Jump just a hair too early. Oh. While it's not that big of a death, it's like uh, we don't really have that much to afford. Knowing the the stuff that's upcoming, that's not like a a good usage. Was a tide gold. Changing song in the middle of a run. It's, it's not free. It's not like super expensive. so I didn't trust the Kaiser helper block in that scenario. Okay, so 54. 
If if Yacht Club goes good, we could maybe qualify this as a uh, as a good pace still, like entering tower. Definitely if we get if we get out of tower on 54 pace, that's very good. Definitely have a fighting shot at that point. Not gonna play scared that we're gonna go for the, the brown dolphin strat. And never mind, we're not. I was gonna say if we get there first life, which we should. That was a kind of a silly death to take right there, but I won't risk it here. Because we are not doing a good job there today. With skipping the right brown dolphin. I want to say we're 0 for 2 on it, which is shot the confidence a little bit. After having us been on a pretty good streak, I would say. Why does that happen all day? I can't get the bonk on the ceiling, the low ceiling. first pattern. First pattern's RNG. And of course, it gave me the bad one where on the all, the very pivotal third rock, the guy came from the right side at the worst possible time, at the worst possible height. Right, it's a combination of those things. And I, initially I did a pretty damn good job, I think, of dodging around it and kind of finagling, but... Nah, no, no intentional death. We one-shot that often enough, even though I think today has not been a very good showcase of that. For us, I would say this is not uh, the pace I want to see, to be honest. It's a little too slow. <laughs> when was the last time I fucking missed the balance on that shit? Yeah, it's definitely... FF8 is definitely easier. 100%. The strats are not as cool, though. Uh, FFA is... FFA is probably faster. It's a faster set of rooms. But I don't... I, like, FF7, the third manip, is way slower set of rooms. Like, you have a bunch of waiting around kind of rooms in FF7. FF8 is not as slow. But I think FFA 
is much more of a go 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 kind of a thing or, or like shorter rooms in general I could be wrong though I don't think I've ever like timed out so I could be having some like bias just from like doing it in runs where if, you, if I'm doing FF8 then I've already lost a billion right How, much, how goes the, the grind? We've had some very good paces out of snow, but Forrest has kicked our ass tonight. We had one run make it to so long, kind of limped along, but uh, crashed and burned finally there. Too low, I think, to get the skip. It was close, though. Very good. Very close. Not reset if I lose 56. No, I mean, it'd have to be lose more than just a 56 at this position. We're, we're a little too close. We're going to try to see if we can at least PB, right? But if I can't, if I feel like I can't PB or if the PB would be like two seconds, I, I'll definitely reset. think of Baudrillard for that part. Oh, I appreciate that, Pharmacist. I feel like that is one of my bigger strengths, is that de determination, persistence. Get, get in there. Spin jump. Oh my god, I almost didn't make that. I'm surprised that worked. I thought I missed an input. Whole lot, lot of luck there. Although, um, the one that where I was thought I, I spin jumped instead of regular jumped, where I was like, oh, I'm surprised I made that. That wouldn't have been a death or anything. I would have just had to do an extra jump, which would have been, you know, a small time loss.
I, you know, I was not part of the uh, Mario Maker stuff, no. First time I tried Mario Maker was actually Mario Maker 2, and I did not really like the physics, <laughs> I'll be honest. It's unfortunate. And it's very hard to contend with the quality that is SMW ROM hacks. Both design and physics. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. I lost a cycle. Maybe two. I don't know. A little far right there. One, two, three, four. Where was the... Lost a cycle again that time? Fuck. Okay, this is for you, Canes, right here. Watch. Dead. Ah, uh, there goes the run. I actually think I've gotten that the last three times I've done it or something. Yeah, this one's trashed. Dude, what? Everything's going haywire in this cave room for some reason. How does it not give me credit for a jump?
Come on. Okay, you can't. If you're still here, watch, watch this upcoming room. Th this is the room. That's really cool. Go low enough to get that pencil to early spawn. Double back turn. Low ceiling bonk incoming. For a quick turnaround. Try to get another low ceiling bonk. Didn't get it. Backwards float. Fast pipe. Ooh. Lost two in so long. Lost one in, in um, Forest Left and lost one in Tower Fate. So, I mean, I trust it. Trust this. Uh, what else was... Let me check, let me check on this. That's great. Did this one? Okay, so I should change this to be a to be a spin. So I died here because I went like that. Like I, I so I, I'm in YB like this. I'm in YB, and I have to fat thumb. I don't know if you can see my thumb moving. I have to fat thumb the X button to fire a uh, bubble, but I'm still in YB. And if I'm doing that, and I, I go too fat, I press. I don't know if you can see that very well. I end up pressing the A button. So I'm in Y, I'm in YB, try to fat thumb, hold on. In YB, try to fat thumb X, but accidentally go too hard and press A. Get a, get a tiny spin jump. And I, I ended up missing this, right? But if I just, if I just switch to a max spin jump, like I'll, I'll like fire the bubble and then immediately max spin jump like that. So don't, don't press X and A at the same time because you might get a bubble in the wrong direction, but X and then immediately A afterwards with momentum. And you're going to reach up there clean and that'll prevent the potential that it doesn't happen super often, but it does happen and it's avoidable apparently. So we should avoid it. Let me write that real quick. What is this? Uh, tempo. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That goes here. Secret. Tempo, temple, uh, triple falling platform. 
y plus b starting from y plus b grip run right x to bubble immediately so how do I say it? I say go immediately finish the switch to X plus A grip with a max spin jump plus slow fall. Is there anything else? What else went? So we took a look at that, looked at that, that. That was fine. But all been good. Okay, we should probably take a look at that then. I want to try to get one more run tonight. Uh, what is this uh, level I'm thinking of? Slipknot. So we need this shell snow. out there early but then I have to get a good maybe that's the play so from a stand okay, from a stand still ninja of immediate regrab right side of
crash into the right wall, neutral the D-pad, fall straight down, grab the shell on the way down, immediately toss, uh, still with a neutral D-pad. Uh, Uh, min jump plus immediately uh, jump plus immediate regrab um, from a standstill when the right side of the shell is in line with the right side of the low ceiling. That's the update there. Is there any other weirdisms that I want to take a look at quickly? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, technically, I should look at that. Where is that? Tall, tall. so aggressive. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, I don't think I need to be as aggressive on the balancing act as I was. be the good play here so that's the same that's the same this is the same and then the difference starts instead of fast falling from the top continue slow falling all the way down and then one two three four like release jump before you actually make contact so right there one two three four and then that is good enough and should be a lot simpler Plenty of spacing to still get into the right position. One, two, three, four. Like, look at even that. Look. So yeah, we were we were going unnecessarily aggressive with no extra speed benefit. One, two, three, four. Look, even even that. Plenty of time to get there. Uh, what is this? This is tall, tall. Tall, tall peak with uh, saw mount. No need to be as aggressive exiting the narrow hallway. Instead, uh, same start to unlock the saw. starts uh, after the min spin jump plus immediate regrab 
off of the right wall, continue to slow fall all the way down till just before the saw. Min bounce plus fast fall four times. Yeah, so it's three times. Three times. Control bounce on the fourth bounce. Uh, to get over the first net. to be aggressive there on the mount. Cool. Uh, anything else? Also. Toxic. They're supposed to be... Away. To get a clean... Down left. Maybe that's it. I have been dying here a little bit lately. Well, I say as I just die there, but... It's an interesting proposition. So you, like, get in line, center beside the ceiling munchers, a block while holding down left and then once you recognize that you actually got credit for some down movement you release down all right i think that's what it is bit of wiggle room. Can I make it a consistent... Hold on. Oh, 
Like, I was like, okay, do one, two, three, one, like that or something. Like separate the. Kind of, I can. That'll put me in a good position. One, two, three, boom. I, got, I like where that position's... is when you do this up toss you need to have like one even though you're holding up you got to get one like small thing in there first so it's really four it's like one one two three it's three it's three all the time you're holding up one two three but that the first of the four right there even though you're holding up you don't get much one two three but the other three you get mega and it puts you in the right position smart play. Probably long overdue, to be honest, but uh, this goes here. Normal gill issue. This is the throw block muncher hallway. <sighs> okay. After creating a block Swimming right with the block. So after swimming right with the block, with the so you up toss. Do I neutral the? I don't neutral. So up toss when the right side of the block crosses past the right side of the low ceiling. So that's part one. Immediately Actually, good cue. If I crash in the right wall, that's the right time to do the um, uh, tap B whilst up, up tap swim delay up tap swim delay up tap swim three. So, um, this should, uh, position Mario 
centered uh, with the ceiling munchers. And then create a block while, uh, while also, do I do it at the same time? Do I do boom? I think I might be doing that. Right, I think it's like, as I'm creating the block, I think I am. While also switching to down plus left on the D-pad. And then uh, release down. Release down. Once Mario has some downward credit for some downward speed. Continue left through the Muncher hallway. No wiggles. I think that resolves this. Damn, that's what I just saw there. That's interesting. Hold on. So this. to use this and just focus on Too ancient at these days. <laughs> what what is elementary school, right? I think I prefer Cheez-Its generally over Goldfish, but Goldfish sometimes hit the right spot. Okay. We'll get one more crack. One more crack tonight, guys. We're probably gonna go pee first before we get this one started. More like end stream practice in science.
Okay. One last run tonight. Let's see what we can do. What new DK game? And what new Peach game? Is there E3? Is, was it, is it E3? Is that what's? That's something that just happened or something? Or is, oh, Nintendo Direct maybe. I get I get all my news. I get all my news from uh, Ash. Paco, can you do me a favor, please? I forgot when I went out there what I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, take one of those peanut butter honey uncrustables out of the freezer. I feel like that's going to be a good post-stream snack. Can I stop doing that literal exact same death? The peanut butter honey's good. Decided to try it. Need more snacks on stream, true. Ash, what's what's your take on un uncrustables? Overpriced, but good. Yeah, a, a pillowy, beautiful snack. I like to uh, microwave them. <laughs> Get them a little bit hot, a little bit ooey gooey. The real question is, grape or strawberry? Definitely strawberry. Strawberry jam is so superior to grape jelly. Je jam is better than jelly in general. <laughs> crunchy peanut butter, interesting. I'm not too well versed in the uh, the crunchy peanut butter game, but not necessarily because it's bad. We just always had the smooth growing up. But I don't think I'm necessarily opposed.
more peanut butter, more jelly, or equal parts? Oof. That's an interesting question that I don't think I ever hear posed. I would say more peanut butter than jam. But that doesn't mean all peanut butter. Like we don't want just like a like a boop of jam. I mean, it needs to be a little bit more than that, but I don't I don't want just like a bite of I don't want the jam to overpower. I wanted to add that 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 fruity sweetness and like cut through some of I mean it's it's still sticky but it's like different there's like it's a different texture even though even though they're both smooth it adds a little bit of a contrast Held right just a hair too early. Bad by me. I mean, toasting is definitely the correct play. But ain't, ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time to get the toaster oven out. You don't cask boom. The the toasting is the preferred. satisfaction of that death. <laughs> if you pause before you die, the death didn't happen. Pretty sure that's accurate. <laughs> that is 100% true. What's wrong with toasting the the, uh, the PBJ? Makes the uh, the bread get a good bite to it. You don't want to overdo it. Obviously, you don't want it burnt or anything like that. But giving it a nice, a little extra amount of structure from the toasting, and then the uh, the peanut butter gets a bit melty. It's it's quite good. That's why you need the, um, get the fork involved. Interesting.
the the trick is to to rinse the dish off as soon as you're done. Don't let anything uh, get stuck on. Makes it much worse to deal with. If you are gonna have something get kind of like delayed, then let it at least let it soak. So when you do get around to it, it's it's not too bad. One more attempt out at of level one. That's it. I didn't need to power off. I... Okay, whatever. One more attempt out at of level one. That's, that was that was dog shit twice. It didn't give me like it's crediting me with still being on the ascent when I made contact there. Like, nah, there's there's no shot. That that should have been quite clearly a a bounce credit. Not once, but twice. See, I'm I'm weird here. I I gotta fully clean the plate or or the dish in general before I put it in the dishwasher. The dishwasher's gonna do a good job sanitizing for me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take all the crap off of it. So I'm told, so I'm told. I totally get it. But I just can't. <laughs> Cause to me the uh I don't know, I, I don't trust putting just like a, a dirty ass dish in the in the washer. So I feel compelled to clean it. But I also Little slop there hit the bunk, but it's fine. Uh, I also don't like trust sponges. <laughs> they just see, they seem gross. It's like on, like honestly, once I'm done washing dishes, I go wash my hands. <laughs> This is the final attempt, by the way. We could, if we die in, in this room, it is what it is. It's over for the night. We'll come back tomorrow. So everybody brace yourselves for impact. Okay, well, 
we got all three key jumps. Run's still alive for now. third up toss instead of doing a right left maybe not sure which would have been faster okay hype it up last run of the night bounce on the ship. Damn. Yeah. Cost you an in-game timer for that. Try to like slide into the 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 spin box there. Cause that usually guarantees it for you. So if I don't get it the, on that first try, it's like right, left, right, left, or not, or right down, right down, I should say. I'm trying to get that pixel, whatever it is that unlocks that pipe. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm tired. <laughs> don't mind me. so bad. Totally botched the one cycle and then couldn't even recover quickly. Like I, I not that I couldn't, but I I failed to recover quickly. Ugh. Imagine the world recording with that throw block hallway. Never mind. Don't imagine it, because it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. That is it for me for now. I can't believe I just let myself fall into a fucking hole like that. I'm, that's just, I'm just tired. That's all it is. Okay. Uh, let's go. What do we want to go chill with? Let's go, I think, over here tonight. This seems like nice and comfy. Let's go. Uh, EJ playing what uh, chicanery, Chica chicanery, chicanery, uh, lightning bolts shoot from my fingertips. 
not exactly sure what this means, <laughs> but let's go. Uh, let's go check it out, and I will catch you guys tomorrow for more attempts. Uh, we we had some good good stuff, and some of that end games and end of stream science we did is actually going to come in very clutch tomorrow. I can I can already tell. I'm excited about that Gill issue update, the uh, Slipknot, like some of the. So it looks like we did some good updates in, in snow. So anyways, till tomorrow. Peace.